James and I'm a support engineer here at Papercut. In this tutorial, I'll be going through how you can perform an offline backup of your Papercut server and also how you can restore from a previous backup. So the easiest way to do an online backup in Papercut is just log into your admin console as admin, go to options, and then once this loads, we'll go to the backup tab, backups, and then just hit export now. Once that's finished, we can check that that's going. So that's going to the uh, Papercut install directory to the server backups folder, which can be found here. And here's the backup we just did. So as you can see, performing an online backup is a pretty simple and convenient process, but sometimes it's necessary to perform a backup when the server isn't actually running. So the main reason we usually do offline backups is because it ensures that all data is captured in the backup. Okay, so to do an offline backup, uh, the first thing we need to do is actually stop application server. So the easiest way to do this, um, I mean, for the purpose of this video, we can go to the server, bin, and win directory. And there's a bunch of commands and things in here that we can use. Um, the one we want to do is the stop server command. But in order to do this, we need to have the command prompt in administrator mode. So we open up one of these and set your directory to the papercut directory. So once we're in the server bin win directory, we can just kick off the stop server command. Cool, that's stopped. And then we want to use the DB tools executable. And it's as simple as typing in export DB. And it tells you here uh, where it's spat out the directory to, the backup, sorry. So if we go back to server, uh, data, backups, we can see the export we've just ran now. Oh, this one, yeah. Oh, and also we need to start the server back up. So if we go back to the command prompt we had open and just type in start server, I should get things back up and running. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to restore from an existing export. Uh, people will usually need to do this if they've had a hardware or system failure, which requires you to rebuild your server, or if a new print server was purchased and you need to migrate your papercut installation over to that, or if you want to deploy an external RDDNS and you need to import your data to that. All right, so to do the import, the first thing you need to do is actually find the file you want to import. So this is the backup we did before. Um, then we'll need to open a command prompt as administrator and set our current directory to the server bin win folder. Once you're here, we need to stop the server. And now we can do our import. So DB tools, import DB. Now we can type the directory to our backup file. Uh, make sure you put it in quotes because there will be spaces in your directories, probably. Okay, so once you've typed in the directory to your backup and the file name, you need to add this one more option, which is the dash F, which will actually clear out the database before it imports the new database. So it's good to do this for a clean start. <clears throat> so now we've been given the warning that we should delete any existing data before importing. So just hit Y. And that looks to be success successful. So once that's done, we can start the server again. I think we'll start server command. And that should have imported the data. So let's just double check our server. Just give it a minute to start.
Cool. That looks like it's worked. Let's log in. Great, that's worked for me. Okay, so this concludes the tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email into support at papercup.com or to head over to our website here at papercup.com and in the search bar here, just type in backups. And there's a whole heap of different options here for learning how to do a backup or a restore.